first impressions, show you some show you some swatch your dermatologist tested for safety, non commuted non blah, 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 and a little bit funky on the applicator. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a new with the drugstore haul for y'all today. So there have been some new goodies popping up in the drugstore recently. So I have picked up some of them and been trying them out. So I've kind of formed some first impressions on these. Actually, some of them I already have review videos up on my channel. So if you wanna check those out, I will definitely link those down below for you. But other ones I'm just gonna kind of run through and show you like first impressions, show you some, show you some swatches, show you some swatches, let you know my thoughts, and just give you some little first impressions and do a little drugstore haul for y'all. So let's jump into it. So I do already have a review video on this. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. I wear it in 510 Fair. I love this stuff. I think it's so great, really nice texture, um, just very long wearing, good coverage. And it's just great. I mean, it's so impressive. I would say less like a BB cream, more like a medium coverage foundation and just super long wearing. So I'm really impressed with this. I love this stuff and I love the packaging too. I think it's really pretty to look at and very functional as well. And then this, I'm actually not 100% sure if this is new, but I've never seen this before, so it's new to me. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder, and I have it in 10 porcelain. It says with salicylic acid, non-comedogenic. On the back it says our first powder with salicylic acid that wears all day, improves skin look, skin's look, Reduces the appearance of imperfections, pores, and unevenness. Dermatologist tested for safety, non-comedogenic. Non non so, you know, it's supposed to do good things for your skin, but I really like the texture of this. So it's got like the spongy dealy on one side, and then it's got the powder on the other side. This has a really nice texture to it, and then it has a big mirror too, like on the back of this thing. It just is very, very soft. And I would say if you're about my skin tone, I'm like around an NW20 or so. I was debating this one or the ivory, but I'm glad I got the porcelain because I think the ivory would have been too dark. So, cause sometimes Maybelline foundations and powders seem to run a little bit darker. So um, I have to usually go with the lightest shade. Sometimes maybe the second, but a lot of times the lightest. So anyway, I would say um, 10 porcelain if you're around my skin tone. So I really do like the texture of this powder. I think it's really nice. It does hide imperfections and it's just a very like buttery soft type of a powder. I love the texture of it. It just looks beautiful on the skin. So I really do like this a lot. And Maybelline has a couple new stick products. First off is the Master Contour V Shape Duo Stick Contour and Highlight. And I got Light 10. So something about this that kind of shocked me is that it is very cool toned, really cool toned. So let me show you the contour side and then I'll show you the highlight side. And the highlight is pretty light. So the highlight is very light and the contour is very cool toned. Like, I mean, it's definitely a contouring stick, not necessarily like a bronzing stick. Um, I really, I'm still kind of deciding how I feel about this, to be honest. Like, I was shocked how gray this looks, and it almost makes me look sickly. And I'm never like, I don't know, I'm just, I prefer powder contour over cream or stick or whatever. So, this isn't my favorite, like, formula of a contour product, but, you know, everybody's different. So, some people love this kind of a product. So. You know, it's not like I'm bashing that it's a cream because that's a personal preference, but really it's just that it's so gray. But if that's what you're looking for, then this will be a great option for you. So just kind of know if you're looking for a very gray, cool toned contour, this would be a great option. I don't know about the highlight though. I don't know. It just, the time that I used it, I didn't use it in the Get Ready With Me today. The time that I used it, it was just a little bit heavy and didn't seem to do a whole lot. It kind of made me look a little bit like ghostly and cakey and not all that great. So I don't know. I'm still forming my thoughts about this, but first impressions and using it a couple of times, I'm not blown away. This I really like. This is the Strobing Stick by Face Studio Illuminating Highlighter, and I have it in Light Iridescent 100. 
This is so pretty, really nice quality. This is like a very kind of pinky champagne sort of a highlight. So it's, it's very pinky. So you have to like a pinky highlight. There was another color that was more golden. I didn't get that one, I just got this one. And I do have this on today. It's just a really pretty pinky sort of a highlight. So if you're looking for a pinky champagne-y sort of a highlight, I think you would like this. Blends into the skin nicely, wears nicely throughout the day. So I really do like this. I like to use this with a stipple brush. I find that easiest to apply and just kind of like, you know, blend and work with. I find that to be the easiest way to apply it, but I really do like this. I think it's great and I love the like kind of, you know, gradient, metallic-y looking packaging. It's pretty. Then Maybelline also has some new eye products. These are the Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. So I have a couple different shades. This first one, this lightest shade is Gilded Rose. And I do have this on my eyelids today, kind of the inner half. And then this bronzy color is Bronze Sheen. These are nice. I like these a lot. Now they do get a little bit messy and a little bit funky on the applicator. So funky applicator situation, but they're really, really metallic. And these wear like iron. I mean, so long wearing, like you have to like scrub them off. It's, it's really impressive. Both on like a swatch on my hand they've worn like that and also on my eyes. Like they really look as metallic at the end of the day as they do at the beginning. So. I'm super impressed with these. I'm trying to get you a swatch so you can actually see what it looks like. Now the lighter color Gilded Rose, with that one like it looks really, it's beautiful right there. But when you blend it out on your eyes, this is what I find is that it kind of blends away a little bit. So I really do have to build that one up. But once it's built up, I mean, it builds on itself nicely and it looks really, really pretty. And then it's super metallic and just gorgeous. But just know you may have to work with that one a little bit. This one reminds me a lot of one of the Jordana Made to Last liquid eyeshadows, which I also love. So yeah, but I think these are longer wearing than the um, Jordana ones. Those are really great too. I love those. But I would say that these are just a little bit more long wearing. Negative about this is that it's expansive. From Walgreens, I think it was around $10. And then at Walmart, I think it was around $9. So... That's expensive in my mind. Like I want to pay six or seven dollars or even less would be even better. But I don't know, eight or nine dollars just sounds so pricey for this. So that's a negative to these is that they're expensive, but they really are nice. And then we have this poor pitiful situation. <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palette and I have it in 112 Avant Garde Azure. Azure? So it's the bluish one. I just wanted something kind of different. I do have this on my eyes today and I was able to make a look that worked out of it. So I was able to use it, but these are just not that good. They just really aren't. I mean, they're powdery. They're not pigmented. When I was trying to blend them together, they were just getting really muddy. Not a lot of like, you know, definition and differentiation between the colors. I mean, granted, they are all blues, but in a better quality eyeshadow formula, you would be able to see the different colors. You know what I mean? So, I mean, no. And this was around $10. No, I don't know what the deal is. Like, L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows are so good. And I even like the little mono shadows, which I thought that this was supposed to be like the same type of formula but I don't find that to be the case. Like these just don't seem to work very well at all. So I would not recommend these. And then Maybelline also has some new lip products. They have these new Color Jolt Intense Lip Paints. So I have three different shades. I do have a review video on these and a lip swatch video where you can see these three shades on my lips, hear my full thoughts and impressions on these. But overall, quick thoughts. You have to just kind of go into it knowing what these are. And they're really just a lip paint. They're not, I mean, they are fairly long wearing, but they just kind of move around a lot. Like that's kind of the thing that I don't really love about them is that they sort of like get all over my teeth. Um, 
they just they just travel they just move but if you're looking for a lip paint i mean that's what they are and they're pretty let me swatch them for you real quick okay so this one is number five strip down the middle one is number 20 orange outburst and the last one is 25 talk back red so there they are swatched on my hand if you want to see them on my lips check out that review video but i don't know i mean they're a little bit expensive too. I talk about that more in that review, but they're just kind of high priced for how much product you get. So Maybelline's getting a little bit, they're getting a little bit crazy with their prices, I feel like. I mean, I love their products and I love what they're coming out with, but the price point, I'm not that big of a fan of. So anyway, there are the lip paints. And last but definitely not least, the Rimmel Kate Nude Lipstick Collection is finally in the US. So I am super, super excited about that. I've already talked about these in favorites videos. I've already done a review video and a lip swatch party on these. So if you wanna see all 10 shades, I will link that down below for you. But just quick little first impression on them. I love them. Like I just, I love the packaging. I love the formula of them, that they're just a nice, creamy, comfortable lipstick, not crazy long wearing, but just a really beautiful cream lipstick. I love the color selection, love the price point. They're around $5 or so. So these are a definite win in my book. I'm so excited that they're finally here and we even have more colors, which is really exciting. All right guys, so that wraps up this new at the drugstore haul. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you are loving at the drugstore lately. Have you been picking up any of the new goodies? If so, what are some of your favorites? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.